So today I want to answer the question, why do women live longer than men? Men on average live 76 years, women 81 years. Why is that? Well, it has to do with one hormone, estrogen. Now let me explain. In the body, you have this constant battle or this balance between oxidation and antioxidants. So whether it's chemicals, stress, uh, too much sugar that produces all this oxidation, you also have from the food antioxidants and your body actually makes antioxidants to counter this oxidation. If we have too much oxidation at the genetic level and not enough antioxidants, we get a buildup of free radicals. Now, what does that mean? A free radical is an unpaired electron. So we have this little atom with electrons and normally would have two that balance each other. So if we only had one, that would be unpaired electrons creating a very unstable atom. And then that's what really creates the damage. And I'm talking about damage within the, the DNA and various proteins in the body. But estrogen can come in as a very powerful antioxidant and, and actually give you what you need to balance out the oxidation. And on top of that, we have uh, something called phytoestrogens from plants, okay? Cruciferous vegetables, for example, that can also help the antioxidant networks as well. You have genes, which are like the hardware. Uh, very similar to, let's say you have a DVD that's uh, holding several movies, okay? It's like storing certain movies and it has a playlist, for example. Then you have something called a DVD player to be able to use the disc. You cannot extract data from that DVD unless you have the player. So the genes are the DVD, which encodes all the information. And you can't use that information unless you have the player. Well, that is epigenetics. Epigenetics means above genetics. And there's certain things in the environment that express these genes or turn them on or turn them off, like nutrients, stress levels, exercise, fasting, and hormones. And estrogen has the capacity to cause certain longevity genes to be expressed or to be turned on. So yes, women have to go through the pain of pregnancy, having the menstrual cycle, menopause, but they get to live longer by five years. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.